Lion Narsimha Raju, uh, who is a past cabinet secretary from District 320 D, an FDI graduate, and a very sought after trainer in our district. A very humble, very capable, very highly talented, and perhaps someone who is there in everything. Nothing in our district is possible without his involvement and without his contribution. So he is a, a great, committed lion and trainer. I have great pleasure in inviting Lion Narsimha Raju to talk to us about the role of the district cabinet treasurer. First of all, I am very much thankful to our MD council chair and leadership team for giving me this opportunity to take this session today. Hearty congratulations to all the district cabinet secretary and treasurers for taking coveted position in the district. You are designated as district cabinet treasurer, nothing but you have taken a challenging post. This year, you need to take as a challenge and you need to prove yourself. The objectives of our workshop, first we are going to discuss, review about your responsibilities as district cabinet treasurer, and we'll be discussing features of my LCA and challenges. You'll be working with district governor. Soon after receiving appointment letter as district cabinet treasurer, you need to send thanks letter to district governor, thanking him and assuring him that you are going to give your time talent. And also you'll be promising him sincere service the whole lionistic year, and you'll be supporting him throughout the lionistic year. Of course, you are a part of leadership team. In district, not only district governor and vice governors, as a cabinet secretary and a cabinet treasurer, both you are also a part of core district uh, leadership team. And you are also part of representative of the district governor in a district. Whenever you go to any clubs for various like you know, meetings or any events, you'll be representative of the district governor and you'll be talking to the clubs. And when it comes to corresponding to the club officers, it plays a vital role as a district cabinet treasurer. You'll be corresponding to the club officers like you know, different areas, like it can be district events, it can be in collecting juice in various areas. You'll be constant communication with DG. District governor, it, it is nothing but it's an important one because there should not be any communication gap between district governor and you. You need to update yourself daily, whatever you get updates from the clubs, you need to update to the district governor. And also you need to take updates from the governor daily. You both simultaneously, like, you know, you need to take the updates and you need to give the updates. So that is a must. There should not be any communication gap. When it comes to district cabinet treasurer to be, you are the chief financial officer of the district. You are going to receive monies like dues and you are going to receive some donations from members, from outsiders. You are accountable. You are going to maintain books of accounts. You are going to maintain uh, books like ledgers, receipts and payments, whatever you're going to get. And of course, you need to be knowledgeable. When it comes to knowledgeable, you need to be information expert. When the clubs, club officers, they will, uh, they are going to ask you any related to dues or it can be fee structure or something, you need to be knowledgeable. And as well, you need to be good communicator too. Whenever you, wherever it requires, communication requires, you need to be communicating to the club officers promptly. We'll be discussing about due structure. My friends, when it comes to due structure, you know, for per member, per international annual per capita, per regular member, they'll be charging $43. When it comes to family member, they'll be charging $21.5. Here, when it comes to family membership, one head of the household will be family regular member, and you can add additionally four members. Apart from head of the household, you can add four family members means including head of the household, you'll be having four, totally it will be five membership per you know, family unit. So then you need to be 
having an idea because whenever you know the clubs they will be having a lot of problems or a lot of issues when it comes to family membership because sometimes they will be going for regular membership and they will be getting uh, $43 paid so that you know you need to have a knowledge how many people you need to add according to the family unit and coming to new member admission or charter member fee that will be only once and here uh, you'll be uh, charge $35 and coming to this uh, new member admission it will be applicable for even family member when they are going to uh, get into family unit when it comes to leo club the leo club levy fee will be paid by parent club example you take one uh, club called lions club of hyderabad lions club of hyderabad and extended one leo club where you know they are going to pay $100 for the Clio Club. Earlier, there was one uh, small change. Earlier, last year, up to last year, they used to pay up to only, they used to accept $100 for 20 members. And other than 20 members, every five members, they used to charge $5. Now, but now LCA has got, you know, board approval that, you know, un unlimited members you can add into Leo Club and, you know, $100 will be paid by parent club for all the members. When it comes to student per capita member, student member, actually the age should be in between 18 to 30 years of age where they are going to study in, uh, studying and uh, you need to provide certain uh, documents as eligibility. You need to show bona fide certificate and at the same time, you need to show one institution letter that you know the, uh, either the student is studying their institution. Apart from that, you need to prove uh, give proof of age that is example i can say that you know Aadhaar card that is our unique id where they can show as age proof and coming to life membership fee life membership fee they will be charged 650 dollars as coming to eligibility for life membership the 20 years of lionism service where they are going to continue from 20 years and apart from that they are going to be taken approval in the board of directors meeting they should take approval in the board of directors meeting and they need to provide that minutes and they need to apply that application form they need to send 650 dollars to the lci then they will be getting life membership card here the advantage is for life membership card in other life membership you know they can pay district dues and club fees but you know 43 dollars to lci is not needed that is one advantage. And coming to transfer fee or reinstate member fee, it will be charged $20. Whenever you know any you are going to take any transfer member, $20 will be charged. And even reinstatement, the membership has been dropped, and again he has been reinstated, will be charged $20. When it comes to dues, depends upon the district to district, they will be charging different amounts. And coming to the club, the club levy fee for directory and club records. It also depends upon the district to district. So this is about purely about you know due structure. When it comes to multiple due structure, most of the you know I can say that nobody have clear idea about what is multiple due structure. Whenever you are going to collect district dues from uh, club members, means nothing but in that part amount will be per multiple due structure. In that LCCI dues, that is Lines Coordination Committee of India. Use there will be levy fees one or two, lines quest 40 rupees 40, MD convention levy rupees 50, multiple juice rupees 72, and Simco South India multiple coordination county rupees 10, and international convention 2022. It is going to be held in Delhi. That levy is rupees 115. The whole it goes near about 389 rupees. So this is about multiple use structure. When it comes to you know exchange rates exchange rates you know every month will be fluctuating the lca is going to project that multiple exchange rates in the website for that website in that website what is our website that is linesclubs.org in the linesclubs.org you need to go to resource center and you need to go, go on exchange rates and click on the month when you're going to click on the may 2020 that you know your PDF will be generated. So here you can see that visibility 
India now is 75.451900. You can tell the clubs and you can send in WhatsApp messages also to the clubs for PSTs whenever you know they, they need to get that information. So accordingly, they will be paying the fees. So instead of saying 75.451, you can say, take as 75.50 or 76 rupees. What will be your primary responsibilities? As a district cabinet treasurer, you need to see that you are going to open a new bank whenever it's needed as per DG convenience. And apart from that, outgoing district cabinet treasurer will be transferring their funds Certain times, you know, initially, whenever, you know, the funds required to pay certain bills or something, that funds will be required. So, district cabinet treasurer will be giving the transfer of funds to you. And appointment of auditor. You need to, if at all, you're going to appoint an auditor. So, he, the auditor should not be from Lionism. He should not be associated with Lions Clubs International. He should be authorized, like, you know, uh, from Chartered Accountants of India. So you need to be auditor. Then what you are going to take uh, approval in a board of uh, in, in cabinet meeting about new bank account as well even appointment of auditor. Then it comes to you are going to assist with the district governor to prepare proposed budget. This plays a vital role. You know the proposed budget. You need to be uh, sitting with your district governor. You are going to prepare the budget and come into this budget now. You know, our lion uh, facilitator, lion Ramchandra Rao Garu, will be showing you in practical session. So other responsibilities, soon after you're taking the position, you need to send the invoices of Jews to the clubs. So it can be two invoices, you know, sending invoices, even district Jews, and even as well international Jews. Generally in international Jews, you know, there'll be the clubs will be getting the hard copy or, you know, even soft copy to their emails. So you need to send invoices. You will accept only check or DDs. Never, you know, try to accept cash. Majorly, you require to only accept check or demand drafts. So, and if whatever you are going to uh, accept the checks, you need to keep safe and you need to deposit that timely. Maintain vouchers to payments. Whatever you are going to give means nothing but any petty cash or something. You need to maintain vouchers to payments and all the payments too. And coming to when are you going to authorize your signatures, when you are going to open a bank or you are going to take over, hand over, you know, old bank account, you need to be, it's as a district cabinet treasurer, the signatures should be compulsory for you. And coming to optional, either district governor or district cabinet secretary will be signed on checks. So any of the two people, you need to give the letters to bank, so for the authorized signatures. So this is the sample invoice. Just I've given a sample template. Here you can see that Lions Clubs International District, and this is the bill uh, district use. This is purely related to district use levy they have mentioned. And coming to other responsibilities, you are going to collect contribution from cabinet members with the advice of district governor. Until unless without any advisor, you should not reach any cabinet member or anybody uh, to collect any contributions. Uh, with approval and with you know consent of district governor only, you need to collect the contribution. And coming to advertisements also, every district nowadays they are printing you know district directly. If at all they are going to raise fundraise the program through you know uh, advertisements, you need to collect the uh, amount contribution for advertisements. In district directly and coming to this as we have discussed about deposit checks timely in banks sometimes you know you'll be taking much time nowadays you know it will not be accepted more than three months for checks so to unless so that you know you need to timely deposit the checks and th send thanks later to the contributors and advertisers for their contribution as soon as you receive any contribution you need to send appreciation and send thanks later to the contributors that is your prime responsibility so working with you know club and district officers appreciate when it comes to appreciate i have taken a synonym called aim big up a for appreciate appreciate timely 
whenever you get any something like you know timely juice example now in our district 320d here about four to five clubs already they have paid for you know 2021 you need to appreciate accordingly as soon as you receive the dues you know you need to send appreciation letter and whenever you know you get any contribution from the district officer you need to appreciate you need to send appreciation letter and when it comes to i for inform whichever the areas you are going to get any uh, something like you will be getting any area called club juice information or you are going to get any something like you know juice list from international timely union to timely inform to the clubs and coming to motivate m for motivate you need to recognize the club officers or uh, district officers as nothing but it motivates them to do more if at all you know like if they need district officer coming for, uh, forward to donate something or giving any contribution you need to motivate them and com coming to building rapport build rapport you need to build rapport with club officers and as well even district officers for continuously throughout the line stick here and involve whenever you get uh, coming to involvement of clubs or district officers whenever there is any district events you are going to something sometimes you know you are going to take registration fees or something it single handedly it will be difficult for you if at all you are going to divide into a team that will be you know success teamwork makes dream work so that you need to involve all the cabinet members and club officers and of course you are going to be a guide to all the club officers whenever you know that time permits like you know it comes to juice collection or it comes to any something like issues in a club you'll be guide to the club officers communication correspondence to the clubs regularly as i discussed about you know coming to juice or it can be uh, related to any information you need to correspond to clubs regularly use technology by go green instead of going through any something like uh, hard copies by sending post or something you need to provide mails or whatsapp technology different types of digital technologies you can use and whenever you are going to conduct like you know you are going to organize rc or inner cabinet meetings or uh, cabinet meetings you need to give a ready reponor of dues and status of the clubs so rcs or inner cabinet or cabinet members they will be able to see that you know in their region or uh, you know any club is having any dues or something if at all in between mid term they are going to add certain members if they are not paid the dues you can see that you know as a ready reconor and presentation of quarterly reports of the district in district cabinet meetings every quarter you know you need to present your reports like specifically when it comes to uh, receipts and payments if at all there is any amendments like you know you need to uh, something like you know upgrade amount or any amendments you need to take uh, approval in the cabinet meetings and publish the dues list in your lines update many of the uh, districts they will publish either you know e magazine or uh, a lines update so you need to publish the dues uh, of clubs so that you know every club can see there if there is any juice or something so this is something like you know sample template of you know region wise you know uh, ready reckoner like you know these are the club names with region and coming uh, like members as per the due date means nothing but as per you know the starting of the financial year and coming till uh, you know first half year and uh, next starting of the lionistic year and coming to district dues payments received payable if there any club is to be it to be payable you know they will be mentioned here and international dues so this is just like you know ready reconor to the region chairperson zone chairperson it will be helpful for you know club officers or district officers actually coming to neft payment many of the club uh, officers have a lot of confusion whenever they are going to pay neft payment so whenever they are going for bank you know first they need to uh, give the name of the beneficiary that is the international association of lions clubs address of the beneficiary that is our south asian secretariat address and coming to uh, ifsc code now you know our 
Islamic secretary, like Islamic secretary, they are using SDFC bank. So you need to give SDFC, IFC code and the beneficiary account number. This plays a vital role. Beneficiary account number, when it comes first, you know, it will be international number. This five digits will be in alphanumeric, means new uh, alphabetical. It's a international number. That international association of lines, clubs, multiple district. And coming to 4201 is nothing but an identification number related to the district because this you can be seen uh, in WMMR reports that identification number. And apart from that, club number will be six digits. Like here, you can see the 1120181 and in the district uh, name 320D. Here you can be visible. And remitter, remitter bank account number, the bank from way which bank. The uh, club account number is there that you need to mention that club account number and apart from the club name and email of the beneficiary that is nothing but our South Asian Secretary's email ID and telephone number of beneficiary like uh, uh, Isami's uh, office number and name of the beneficiary bank, HDFC bank and branch uh, uh, address. So this is nothing but a, a template I'm showing how you know NEFT payment goes. Because many of the people, they will be having, you know, crucial, like, you know, how, you know, beneficiary account number they will be writing. So this is the area where you need to have an idea about, you know, beneficiary account number. And major thing, you know, it comes to suspension and cancellation of clubs. Every month, you know, the international LCA is going to mail you recaps. So how much, you know, the clubs have paid or, you know, it to be paid or, uh, you know, 60, 60 days old, 120 days old, and you know, 150 days old. So you'll be knowing that recaps through that, you know, you'll be able, you'll be able to means nothing but coordinate with the clubs. And you need to encourage club officers to register online. So when it comes to online, you know, treasurers, club treasurers will have a lot of privileges. They can, you know, view the club statements and they can even pay. The only club treasurers can make only online payment. No other club officers have that privilege. So that you can, you know, tell club officers to register online. And coming to whenever it comes to suspension of clubs, club balances should be not be paid later, later than 90 days after billing to avoid suspension. When it comes to billing, soon after, you know, you are going to send an invoice, the clubs need to pay before 90 days after, you know, sending, you know, billing from international or from your side. So you need to encourage the clubs to uh, play whole year just instead of, you know, semi-annual. And if at all they are going to, you know, outstanding, you know, dues are there for, for 120 days, it will be going for suspension. It should not be exceeded more than $20 uh, or less than $1,000, whichever is less. So to avoid suspension, they need to pay timely dues, you need to encourage the clubs to pay timely dues. Most of the times, you know, high cancellation rates can be avoided. Specifically, it comes to suspension and cancellation. Most often it will be done in December or June payments. So you need to check and you need to inform the clubs priorly. Clubs can be also be re reactivated. If the club has been canceled, the clubs can be reactivated within the 12 months following a cancellation and you'll be signing for reactivation report. So this report you'll be sending to the international by paying whole uh, dues so that you know the clubs can be reactivated. So you should, as a district cabinet treasurer, you should encourage the clubs, they need to pay whole year dues on time before 90 days. So this is something- uh, Raju, you know, sorry for can... interrupting you, your time is almost over. Yes, sir. Please, please hurry up. It's going to get finished. Yes, sure, sir. So this is sample recap. You know, as I discussed about you, this this is ID four two zero one, and you know the number of members and last MMR report, the total balance, and you can see the thirty days, sixty days, ninety days, one twenty days, one fifty days old. You'll be able to see this. So whichever the clubs have dues, you can inform the clubs promptly, and. You have a L, uh, LCA cabinet treasurer privileges. You can view data of all the clubs in our district, view and print various reports. And uh, when it comes to return to, uh, means nothing but, you know, my LCA, you can see in the 
my district you can see statement on dues and coming to you know whoever the whichever the clubs have been chartered or cancelled or status quo or something you can see here and coming to membership records you can see here and when it comes to club dues like in my district clubs and you go for you know a particular club you can see view statement you could, as a treasurer district cabinet treasurer you, you have a privilege to view the uh, statements also you can even print that uh, statement too and uh, when it goes to if you want to go for changing any other club also you can change the club and you can see that and uh, also you can see in the reports about you know newly chartered clubs status quo cancelled pending clubs so more i can say that you know there is one more uh, main main even main thing when it comes to district convention when a uh, district is going to conduct march and april most of the clubs you know they have like you know sometimes if at all they are not going to check about you know district uh, international dues by seeing exchange rate sometimes it will be exceeded more than 10 dollars they will not able to get voting rights so either you know about 10 dollars or below 50 dollars that should not be pay exceed balances so that you know prior to 15 days of local convention they need to pay to get voting eligibility so in uh, march and april you will be like, giving latest uh, recap of dues prior to the convention as a district uh, cabinet treasurer so this is about you know uh, like you know you'll be getting recap of uh, how much uh, means voting status and you know number of delegates who are uh, would uh, means eligible delegates if anything you like you know they are yet to pay you'll be able to know about you know how much you know they need to pay to get attain you know voting uh, status and last and uh, final you need to present altered reports at the end of you know linistic year in cabinet meeting and take approval and at the same time you need to send audited reports and you need to present in general body meeting of the convention so this is about you know district cabinet treasurer role and responsibilities most often you will be having challenges when it comes to uh, lci records like you know as per membership as per like lci records and coming to as per directly since so that will be different so you will be having challenges you need to see that you know the clubs who are being published in district directory or some they are going to add a new member that should be reflected in lci and they pay they need to pay the dues promptly so this is about my session you have any queries you can ask me thank you thank you raju that was an exhaustive and quite comprehensive presentation on the role of the district cabinet treasurer i think raju has done a great job